Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, I want to talk to you about the RPK LMG in Modern Warfare 2 because it's not getting a lot of attention, and I used it to unlock a particular camo. Turns out, it's pretty beastly. So let's go take a look at it. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the build that I used for the RPK by the time I got done uh, getting it gold. Um, this isn't with all of the attachments unlocked, so it's, you know, not the best build probably in the world, but it was really good for what you get just progressing the weapon. And the reason I started using the RPK in the first place is because I really wanted this rupture camo, and uh, so I needed to rank up the RPK to get it, which I'm really happy I did because a, I love this camo, I use it on a lot of my guns, and B, the RPK turned out to be uh, actually a really fun gun to use and a really decent gun. So by default, with no attachments, the RPK is really not bad. You can see the aim down sights is pretty slow, um, but it doesn't have a ton of recoil uh, in general, and um, it starts with a 75 round magazine uh, right out of the gate. So. It's still an LMG, so it's a relatively slow reload, but since it's not a belt, it's actually decently fast uh, for a reload. But what we're focusing on with the attachments is trying to keep that recoil as tame as possible while increasing um, our ADS speed if we can, but at least definitely not making it worse. So uh, for the underbarrel, I used the shark fin just because it gives you idle aiming stability uh, without any negatives. The um, laser, I like using the DR laser box because it's got that blue hip fire laser and I find just in general being able to use hip fire more effectively helps win some of these close range gunfights when you have to come out of ADS and rotate with someone who's, you know, jumping around a corner at you. Um, I use the red dot sight on it just because, like I said, there aren't a whole lot of other attachments that I really uh, wanted to use on it. Um, because they decrease the aim down sight speed. Um, I would love to use this TrueTac grip, but I haven't unlocked it yet, so I'm using the Demo X2 grip because it improves recoil control without slowing your aim down sight speed. Um, it does impact aiming stability, but we've got the shark fin, you know, essentially bringing that aiming stability a little bit back. Um, and then for an additional attachment, I just use the 7.62 hollow points because it, you know, slows the target and disables their ability to sprint away, which is nice for being able to um, just kind of pick people off. And since the downside of the hollow point ammo is just a little bit of penetration and velocity, um, really wasn't the end of the world for what, uh, for my uses. And um, so with this build, you know, still got a decently slow ADS, so you're gonna wanna use this gun more deliberately, um, but it does keep the recoil, you know, really well in check um, to the point where you can even at longer ranges, like just have really, decent accuracy uh, with this gun and like I said I, I really enjoyed this build uh, and in the future I might you know en enhance it a little bit um, try to increase that ADS speed a little bit more but if you play deliberately this is a really good build for the RPK so now let's walk through a little bit of gameplay with the RPK this is a good streak that I had in a kill confirmed um, and we'll just kind of take note of some things that will help you use the RPK effectively. Uh, one of the things here is, you know, this isn't really a close range weapon, um, and with the amount of recoil that it has, you know, mounting, being deliberate, um, being, bringing your sights up early, especially with this relatively slow ADS on this build that I have, um, is good. That said, this thing does hit like a truck, so even if you're a little slow on the trigger um, versus some other people, you, you can get a good fast kill uh, on them. Here you can see the hip fire coming into play. You would be surprised how helpful uh, having that hip fire laser is, you know, if there's not another attachment you're using on a weapon to improve the overall build and you've got a spare slot, that hip fire laser is, uh, is more helpful than you'd expect. The number of times you'll, you'll get a good hip fire kill uh, is very uh, surprising. So here I'm also playing deliberately. You can hear footsteps around me and I can hear footsteps around me. The footstep audio in Modern Warfare 2 isn't great. Some, I can't really tell the difference, especially in these multi-floor environments when footsteps uh, are above or below me. It sounds like they're literally right next to me. So sometimes I'll just turn around and look for someone it sounds like is standing next to me, but they'll be, you know, a floor below me. Um, again, another hip fire there. So 
So that's something I hope they work on with this, that I get killed a lot because of just bad footstep audio, or even non-existent footstep audio. Uh, if people run up behind me, for some reason I can't hear them, and sometimes I can hear them through a wall a mile away, so... Um, something to keep in mind is the slower pace of play in general in Modern Warfare is something you kind of have to do to adapt, and with the RPK or slower ADS weapons in general, um, when you hear someone nearby, when you hear footsteps, when you hear someone closing in, um, you know, swallow your pride, play smart, uh, and actually, you know, take advantage of the fact that you know where they are and they don't know where you are, and be patient, because if you push them, um, you know, you're, you're not going to be successful a whole lot of the time in this game, unfortunately. Uh, here, using the drill charges, if you haven't seen my drill charge video, go check it out. I absolutely love drill charges, being able to do things like that uh, is great. So I'm really low on RPK ammo here, and I decide to go ahead and just call in my kill streak rather than, typically with kill streaks, I'll wait until my next life to call them in. Mainly just because I like capturing like clean streaks and and using my weapon to kind of finish out that life, and then I'll you know after I die I'll kind of start a fresh streak um, with that thing. They did a good job taking out my chopper gunner. It's one of the fastest times I've ever seen them taking out a chopper gunner, and I'm low on ammo. So laying next to me is someone's cast off 545, which is an awful assault rifle. I gotta say, I used it uh, and ranked it most, well, ranked it all the way up, but didn't like unlock gold camo for it. And it's just not strong. Um, killed this guy with it. And it has that kind of ACOG optic on it, which I didn't like. Um, so I picked up this naked one, but unfortunately it's also a cast off 545. The cast off 762, on the other hand, is a great weapon. Um, but I step out here, I know there's a guy close, and he's got some cover, and uh, I just don't win that fight with that 545. Okay, minions, hopefully you enjoyed that video with that information about the RPK. You should really go try it out. It's a lot of fun, surprisingly good. If you're looking for another video about Modern Warfare 2, I made one on the drill charge, which is by far my favorite piece of equipment. If you're not using it, you definitely need to go check out that video. Uh, if you guys like this video, leave me a like. If you didn't, leave me a dislike. Subscribe if you're new here so you can become a minion. I'll see you guys in the next one.